this is your Gita with Magic Pond Crafts. Welcome um, to my channel. Sveiki visi. Dobry den. So I decided to do like a whip parade up to this time what I have so far. So first you see it's not going to be in uh, order uh, so when I started. But so this is by Leisure Arts Collection Christmas Portraits. And I'm doing this Santa times four. And I'm stitching it on 32 count over to Zweiger Cream Belfast Ada. So this is what it should look like. And this is what I have. So you see three of them. Right now I'm working on a third one. And if you're new to uh, my channel, I just gonna tell you or for those who've seen before just a reminder that I'm doing four would be three for uh, each of my kids and one for my parents who I'm gonna see in less than a month when I'm flying back to Lithuania so that's what I have so far and it's not much more left to do as you can see uh, just finished some red color and uh, there's uh, greenery gonna be and then just to do back stitching because with the back stitching they look much better and I'm gonna make it into a little Christmas uh, ornaments so that would be a number one of my whips and my second one is having a nerd designs it's called beloved this is what I've done so far as you can see so it go probably up to here so this is my first row I'm stitching this on a 14 count uh, soft Ada or Aida that I uh, dyed myself to make it a little bit darker and I'm doing this as a continental uh, half stitch four threads with DMC I'll show you what it's supposed to hopefully look like and so that's what I have so far it's it's not far from his bottom of the nose but you can see details already sticking out so it's gonna be a very big project but I'm not afraid my third project is a summer ball by Sandy Little Johns and I'll show you what uh, maybe a better picture what's gonna look like at the end and right now I have this from a magazine I'm stitching this on 32 count ivory Lugana and this is how much I've done so far there it is I've stitched uh, the side there is another guy in there uh, this guy is mostly backstitch and from this side on the people are not backstitch yet so I'm, since I'm doing over two this is the full width of the picture and it's of course gonna continue in the length but um, I love the colors how it's popping out the black the only thing is the black one I'm stitching like with the three threads over two versus two because I don't think it was giving me enough uh, dark coverage to show through but you see already the lady is sitting there talking to somebody and the guy is standing there so I'm doing the skin one over one so when you look up close you can kind of compare the guy's face with the back stitch and like this guy's face without it it's just a blob so back stitch really makes it pop out so that was next uh, whip number four I'll show you what it uh, will look like and this is what I have so far of the lady of the flag by Mirabilia I've I'm doing the skin one over one and still haven't um, decided what kind of thread I want to use I have a, a rainbow gallery silk threads to try to change it because I don't like this big blob when you're doing one over one skin but uh, from this point on all the stitching on the bottom is done and there's some uh, like a back stitching 
and I'm doing this on uh, what is that 28 count uh, fabric by fabric flare with the people so mostly just her head left and the arm with the torch and the skin of course so that's what I have so far on my lady of the flag number five is uh, my group of project it's called Washington crossing a Delaware River painting I'll show you what it's gonna look like as a whole thing and then which is my part and I've done so far 15 pages so what you see is what's left so that's almost 10 full pages width so that would be one year piece uh, done should be done by end of February of 2019 uh, it's a five-year project um, there is a website uh, made for this project and also a Facebook uh, group uh, public one that you can go and check it out all uh, other pieces that are uh, being done so I don't have a lot of colors for this project so it is kind of boring but when you look from further away you can kind of see uh, where the changes of color happening um, so keep working slowly uh, at least once a week each week I did a challenge uh, and it helped me do one uh, full page which is about 3500 stitches uh, we're doing an 18 count um, Ada cream color that was provided to us with the Sullivan threads which is uh, slightly different than DMC uh, by the feel of it so this is my uh, big uh, five-year plan uh, maximum you can do uh, faster but and I'm hoping to do it faster than five years so this is um, we'll call it George or Washington crossing so this is my next project it's having an earth uh, design it's called traveler and you can probably recognize Dr. Hoopies. so that's his Stardust police uh, box so this is how much I've done so far and I'm stitching this on the 18 count Ada yes 18 count Ada uh, one over one and it also has a crinic which you can kind of see uh, sparkling in some places uh, in front of the light so there's no uh, half stitches no blends uh, nothing it's just pure excess so that would be my uh, project number six to continue number seven of my whips would be this um, I would call it maybe needle crafters tree um, like a Christmas tree so you see the thimble and the buttons and measuring tape so it may be like a sewer tree it's by Nate Koff free design on the Russian website and I'm stitching this on a 32 count um, over two petite point Belfast linen roll white and right now I just have a back stitching left Ta -da -da -da. that's what I have stitched so far so once I start back stitching you can kind of start seeing like these buttons versus these buttons um, so it's really gonna be stand out and what I find um, useful on uh, patterns that you buy from uh, Russian designers um, websites that they have uh, pages where they have only cross stitching with back uh, with uh, half stitching and they have on a different sheets uh, pages where the, there is a back stitch involved mm -hmm. so so it's very easy to just take uh, first sheets of paper do all the excess if you want to then go to other pages and do all the back stitching so it doesn't cover all the uh, symbols like in some patterns and kids you're looking and trying to figure out what's that hiding underneath the back stitch symbol so that's what it looks like so far and in this empty spot is what's gonna be is like a satin stitches just a straight lines so uh, this is hundred 
uh, crosses wide by 150 height. It has 34 colors and uh, it's going to have uh, French knots and beads um, and backstitch and uh, full crosses. So that's what I have left of uh, this project. Number eight in my list uh, is would be this little beer dragon that I bought from a designer, also Russian. Um, her name is Nadezhda Kazarina. And I have, I uh, think, four different dragons. So this is a little beer dragon, all in gold and shiny. And I'm stitching this on 32 count over two on black Belfast uh, fabric. And it has... Um, Let's see, the stitch count is 137 by 146. And uh, they have uh, different back stitches, uh, French knots, half stitch, and blends. They have, um, usually those designers would have uh, quite a bit of a blends. So you can see kind of half stitch is this part on the bottom. So that's what it's gonna look like. And this is how much I have stitched. So... I've done his wing and uh, you can see like his claw start to come out here and uh, part of the glass if you can compare to side by side so you can kind of tell that it's it's a lot of backstitching in the glass itself and there's going to be just some in here and this is going to be lots of straight stitches. It's fun to stitch. Of course, it is black, and uh, you kind of have to look, uh, have a color from underneath, something white, so in the daytime, I can kind of see the, the light, or I would have a little lamp shining from under. And uh, so, yeah, so I started this on a stitch during Stitch Mania, middle of the May, and I worked some in May and some September, and... Uh, that was, I think, it. So I'm kind of eager to continue with this one. But there's still so many more projects to work on. Ah. Number nine in my list would be these vintage roses by um, Mereshka Company. So you can kind of look this way or this way. Sorry, the light glaring. If you want to lay it down, I kind of do that right now. It's a standing up. So it has all kinds of blends, but uh, you can choose to buy this on uh, linen or um, like Ada fabric. So you can kind of see uh, some of uh, blends that are like, sticking out and uh, back stitching involved. So um, yeah, it, it shows you the choices, uh, even weave or Ada. And uh, I think I had uh, linen to use and uh, you can see the number of that uh, if uh, you'd like this there's also lilies and uh, another type of flower so it's like a three of different flowers I'll leave a link uh, below also if you'd like to buy and uh, if you use uh, like a coupon code um, with my name uh, you get 10% discount on all items in that store for a non all non sale um, prices, and uh, I'm still keeping all the threads on their original card, so you can kind of see all the colors. <laughs> I haven't stitched in a while this one, so I also marked the uh, which uh, color is which uh, symbol, so it's kind of easier for me. I don't have to look at the color card fully. So that's what I've and I've done about half of it, so I'll show you. This was what I have done. You can, can kind of compare. I have pretty much all the flowers done with the top and the half stitch. So the greenery and the sticks is going to be left. And you can see I've done all the back stitching on the leaves and the flowers themselves. And if I remember correctly, uh, back stitching is not only with the white color in here. And it's not only black color, but you can see kind of reddish threads in here. And it's fun to stitch um, blends. There are all kinds of uh, different ones. And as a color, you can see in the different thread counts. And um, it really makes it pop.
pop in the picture. So I'm also very eager to get back to this one. It's again vintage roses and um, I love it. I love it and I would uh, highly recommend this kit to you. And another of my big ones is Heaven and Earth Designs. It's called Lilith. Artwork by Chris Ortega. He has beautiful artwork. And the stitch count is 350 by 795. So it's a long and um, has 90 colors. I'm stitching this on 40 count um, silk weaver fabric and it's over one. I started on uh, last New Year's Eve and she doesn't have a lot done. Ta-da! Here you go. That's my how many stitches I've done so far. And I'm doing uh, trying to do this like a half cross stitch. I tried to figure out with the, like a full cross and half cross. So of course I started in the very left corner where there's only like darkness, but she's just been pulling me in with that the serene kind of face, this whiteness and the, these blue colors I think really going to make it pop, right? So yeah, on the 40 count, it's not going to be very big. It's what, about not even 9 inches uh, wide by almost 20 inches high, over 1. So that's my uh, big uh, heaven and earth design project. And you see another heaven and earth design. This is called What's This? Um, and uh, artwork by Arden Ellen Nixon. Beautiful lion looking at the sky. And my printer, of course, didn't come up with the correct colors. And it has 87 colors. I'm stitching this on 28 count over one also. And this is how much I've done. So. It's like just over one page, which is about this side. So the second page that I just started is going to start touching his nose, I believe. So that's going to be exciting. But it is with the crinic used and uh, this fabric is also sparkly. So it's all about the sparkles, right? But that's what I have so far done. It's for my eldest son who's uh, going to be turning 18 this year at the end of the year. So it's going to be several years before he gets it. Maybe when he graduates um, college, right? That's uh, my goal, at least to give him this one. He picked uh, this uh, himself. So that's another of my um, hate projects. And of course, I didn't stop with just those few hates. There's another one, it's called Dragon Kin and Stokes. She has beautiful um, several dragon uh, paintings. And uh, my needle miners I made also with the dragon here, sparkly. It kind of reminds me of him. I was born on a um, fire dragon year, as my mom says. So you can see a uh, stitch count is 550 by 706, 87 colors. So. This is beautiful baby dragon with the lady. And I'm stitching two over one. And that's what you can see is this background and just the tip of the dragon wing starting in this color. So that's how I'm doing. And I can tell, I think it might be 32 count or 28. I don't know, I'll have to double check. I've tried on the side to see if I like one over um, with one thread half stitch or with two threads so two kind of makes it more fuller to me I don't know I don't like to see fabric much through it so this is how much I've done I love the dragons and um, from further away you can uh, see this branch already kind of make it a shade darker right here and um, uh, I missed this one uh, not a whip to to want to go back to. Okay, on to next. This is a project whip that I've lost the pattern for uh, quite a long time. So I kind of gave up hope to finding it. It's a free pattern. Um, as you can see by DMC. 
that I had a pamphlet I don't remember where from but I'm stitching this on a linen a cream color I don't remember maybe it's Vigard. so I found it and sorry for the wrinkles and this is how much I've done of the house so it's not a lot left to do I still can't find my fat um, all the threads that I had I think I kind of took it apart my collection and put it back so there's still quite a bit of work to do on uh, all those branches and the mailbox is not fully finished so all those thread colors in green and there's going to be some more back stitching done but all I can tell you is the scrying it's a different uh, two different colors and it's a pain to work on um, in this kind of fabric at least if you take like 14 count maybe it would be easier but I didn't do that way and um, so hopefully by next and next year it will be done for sure this one it's, uh, it's just this kind of I need to finish uh, make sparkles as the light is gonna come out like through all the windows but all the redness in, in a wreath and stuff uh, still left to do so that would be my whip number 13 I guess this is like a like a 13 right project whip number 14 would be this uh, dimension Santa's journey stocking designed by Peggy Abrams Abrams uh, she has uh, several uh, works with the dimensions so that's what it's gonna look like keep it from a glare and it has a half stitch it has a French knots it has a couching it has a beads that I don't know if I'm gonna keep original beads or change them so you can see all this golden this is golden thread mixed and the green uh, string is uh, gonna be doing by couching and all I've done except beading up to the tree I worked not too long ago and this is what I have so I've done all the back stitching all of those little French knots different sizes snow drift so all of this is done windswept Santa who's still like a ghost <laughs> With those eyes I haven't put in even eyes I don't know why but um, this is the tree he's holding and there's what's left to compare maybe this way better so still I just started the tree so that's gonna be quite a bit and all this background here is I think only half stitch majority of the different uh, amount of threads and I'm not sure about the banner yet how to do because it's a lot of the same boring red stitching and then put in the name so haven't decided and probably backing fabric I'm not gonna use their felt but maybe regular fabric I've never put together like a full stocking I have one another stocking stitch for my eldest years back and still haven't put it together uh, bad mommy right maybe for graduation of the high school I'll finish it so that's what I have uh, left so far and I'm stitching unincluded um, 18 count fabric uh, white cotton Ada and uh, let's see the size of this project is 16 inches long so that would be my next uh, whip I have in line all the threads I have uh, in original original uh, thread holders what I did I just wrote with a sharpie the color names instead of just searching all the time for the numbers and when I have a thread left I had a slit made and I'm just putting in it all, uh, all the leftover threads so it's so far it works for me and uh, I love Dimensions Kids and I'm saving all of the threads that I have left so if you have some that uh, you have left and uh, about to throw it out please don't and uh, I'll take it off your hands <laughs> because there's several projects uh, and kits that Dimensions uh, stopped making uh, ages ago and I really would love to stitch 
I could might get the pattern from uh, somebody, but um, they probably would not have left leftover enough threads uh, for me to do so. I would have to match. So that would be my uh, next whip. Whip number 15 on my list would be uh, called Gardens of Semiramis by Modern Twist Embroidery. Uh, I bought it, I believe, uh, through Etsy, the pattern. Designer is Olga Mamaeva. She has several of these. So this is on a, like a canvas piece. I have it in the frame. I started doing Stitch Mania and that's all I've done. I don't remember if that's a, like a top or a bottom but I started to stitch from the middle. I'll put in a picture what it should look like and uh, it uh, uses um, like DMC colors, uh, Krynic braid, Karen uh, water, uh, variegated blue lagoon color, um, DMC color variations. They have a what she has a preciosa uh, beads that uh, you can kind of. I looked at the Mill Hill what it would compare as in the color, but you can kind of choose your own colors if you'd like. So. So that's number 15 on my kit, uh, on my uh, whip list. Okay, to continue, you see Joy Sunday cross stitch kit I got from AliExpress and it's called Snow Leopard and it's pre printed 14 count that has all the colors, including DMC listed. So it's very easy, kind of relaxing to do. Not much thinking, just follow the colors, and that's pretty much what I have so far. There is a little bit more stitch there on the top. That's so I've done good half. There's some more in, in here to do, and it's 210 by 168. So I'm done more than half, and there's no blends, just pure colors, and uh, it's not the DMC colors. I could have changed, but I wanted to try with uh, their version of the thread, which is more, um, it feels like a softer, but might be more uh, fluffier getting with time. So as you can see, it's just, if you never tried, it's just everything is marked uh, with an X. Sometimes some of those kids would have a line slightly going off so you kind of look over the printed pattern that's um, most of the time is included with the kit if you wanted to stitch uh, not pre-printed. So I sometimes had to look there are a few, few like 10 by 10s that were a tiny bit off so like part halfway so I want to make sure that I hit correct spot. So that would be my whip number 16. And this is number 17. My row is, if you recognize, it's Linen and Threads Mystery Sampler of 2017. Um, I started this uh, February of 2017. I kind of start slowly went and then <laughs> stopped when I tried to make that my uh, travel doctor's appointment uh, kind of project. So as you can see by the size, I'm stitching that one over one on the cream colored um, linen. Linen uh, might be 28 count or 32. And I'm so far using just three different uh, threads of DMC. So one is variegated thread and uh, two like more plain. Uh, so you can kind of see I try to uh, move them around slightly like a uh, this light purple and this is a pure color and this one I was trying to make some kind of pattern um, from uh, variegated DMC threads. So I think I'm, um, and I'm at part 5 which is May and working slowly there. Um, this band is also May's color. So I had it uh, set aside for quite a while uh, and uh, eager to get back to it it's uh it's it's been a while it needs to get get out again in the daylight uh to be stitched it's slowly working and i'm using this very tiny um um what's it Dar Darrell Darrell um little hoop 
tension hoop so it's easy or compact to go um, and I'm keeping it in this coffee bag because I love coffee and you can recognize who is it made of so much to love I got this from uh, 2017 um, needlework gallery um, when she had it there so that would be 17th whip okay so that would be another of my whips that's practically like 90% done so it's uh, by Noteworthy Needle um, and it's called My Teacher's Pale from Rusty Bucket List series so as you can see this Rusty uh, Bucket I actually finally got it this year um, from her and uh, that's what the pattern looks like and it would wrap around and ta-da that's what I've stitched so as you can see I've stitched practically everything except the writing on the blackboard which I'm hoping to do it this year with the teacher's name since I got the pail I can finally finish this uh, it's being stitched um, it was stitched on 32 count over 2 uh, linen Belfast linen and uh, if you've seen my pre, uh, videos from a needlework gallery, I don't know why it's so hard to say. Um, I got a different one with the bunnies also from a bucket series and I got a, a couple of buckets. So this is all done with a few back stitchings to do. This was like all those blue lines. You see it was a back stitch. So all done except the teacher's name that I want to do instead of never rest, never rust so that's pretty much finished almost finished and this is uh, another practically finished uh, whip kit it was by pound mountains uh, designs kit that i got from a library book sales uh, locally it did not have a pillow uh, itself it's just all the threads and and the uh, pillowcase pre-sewn and I somewhere lost my um, was that that uh, green color so you can see now sorry for the glare what I have left if you can compare I have that squiggle left and uh, put in a couple buttons so oh, that's a thread sticking around so it was enough thread uh, other threads left to do and somehow I left my green and I know I just can't get myself to finish it I don't know why it's a practically Halloween I need to finish it within the next few days and uh, we'll see if I can find some kind of pillow so this is um, sort of like a burlap uh, fabric and this is 10 by 16 pillow sham and it included DMC flaws but it all came you know it's just a loose and it was very easy to separate it's not a lot of uh, to do and uh, there's uh, three star buttons that I need to to sew on and that would be it so that's almost finished project another whip I started um, it was 2017 DMC pattern that was it was uh, made by Portuguese their Portuguese site um, I guess it's called around the world uh, I started in May 2017 maybe no I think it was maybe this May and the original I plan to do to over two um, on uh, can't remember was that 28 or 32 count and then decided to, once I started uh, Amsterdam decided to do one over one so that's what let me show you closer that's what I've done this little windmill I did one over one and then I was looking it's like oh I have some uh, threads that are gonna have to do blending so I know you can do the top, bottom leg one color and a top leg another color so I might try to do that but I kind of um, got discouraged and uh, stopped on this project so it's a free pattern and you kind of have to uh, sign up or something um, under website I had to go do like a Google uh, translate and they send you the Amsterdam pattern and then you go on their website um, 
uh, that's still in Portuguese and uh, try to download uh, the other ones but it's it's all about different uh, country towns in uh, Portuguese I guess because uh, you know Moscow maybe that's how you pronounce it so that would be one of the last uh, whoops that I have left and the last uh, number 21 in uh, my list of whips as you can see um, Brooks uh, books uh, Sutra alphabet it's a free pattern on her website she has amazing patterns for free and especially the ones that um, she's selling it's gorgeous uh, it's specific uh, to her style if you never tried uh, go check them out so it's uh, as you can see there are only three letters here but um, there's all of them are on the website and I'm stitching this on the 28 count 2 over 2 on the Joblin fabric and uh, I started I believe at the Stitch Mania and this is how much I've done so the letter A is practically all done and I'm working right now on the beads so it's not only stitching and back stitching I mean you can kind of see that it's a, like a cable knit sweater in the different colors but um, it includes uh, different styles of beads and it's it's fun to stitch uh, and I'm um, planning to do like a I don't remember how many in a row would be and then it's going down on, the, on this whole fabric I want to do the whole alphabet in uh, one block block of the fabric and uh, that's uh, 26 letters total so I'm almost done with the first one and I'm hoping to maybe finish at least this uh, letter A for um, before the new year of this year <laughs> so these would be all of my current webs that I have some are uh, very big and some are smaller and um, if you have any more uh, more questions about any of them uh, don't hesitate to ask me I'll try to put all the information about all of them below I don't know if, how many lines YouTube is allowing me to set but um, also if you stitch any of them and would like to share your experience or if there's something you learned uh, not to do please let me know and I hope you enjoyed this um, this video of mine showing all of my whips I know uh, next year I'm gonna have some new starts I'm, I was very very good so far not starting anything new until I finished something and uh, it was uh, kind of torture but when I started looking how many whips I have and some of them not gonna be finished by the way it's um, you want to finish something to kind of enjoy the finally finished FFO project kind of so that was it this was again your Gita with Magic Pond Crops you can find me on Instagram I post uh, some of the updates on them um, more often of course than the videos so if you have any questions um, ask me don't forget to click like if you like the video and if you haven't, haven't subscribed um, please click that subscribe button and um, until the next time I'll talk to you then. Bye. Até.